Yo, what's up, Mubikins here, and we are playing K. Kruger, Coded by Chaos. So, this might seem a little bit different to you, it's very different to me, but I think you guys are going to really, really like what you see here, because I sure do, and everyone knows that my opinion is definitely a standard of what is very good to look at, because I'm a fan of things like LSD Dream Emulator and other works of quality. So... Uh, the visuals by Fiverr 2. Now, this is a pretty visually impressive game. I will say it came out quite a long time ago. Oh, Gizmo. Visuals by Gizmo. That's the name of my dog. Just, my dog didn't make this game. Just thought I would throw that out there. But, what you are seeing right now is the intro for a very, very special game. Why is it special, you might ask? This game is 96 kilobytes. Or maybe it was 64. I don't remember. This game is small. Okay? This game is small, and we will get to that as we play this game. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, start this. So now, I know a bunch of you right now are shocked. You're like, Legends, what are you doing? You said you would never play a first-person shooter on this channel. Why are you playing a first-person shooter? Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say, this doesn't count as me breaking it. Hund. H-U-N-D. So, look at how pretty this game is. Look at all these textures. Look at all of this. This is beautiful. Look at this lighting. This game is 96 kilobytes. Do you know how small that is? When you take your family photo for Christmas vacation, and you see how, how when you take it with your brand new I, I, iPhone 10 or your, I, even if your iPhone 5, you take a photo with an old phone, your picture is going to be is going to take up more space and they're gonna have more data than this game and you might be saying well all they have to do is just make the game short that's not why this game is small this game is small because they use special algorithms I'm sorry I'm trying to figure out how to word this without like first of all without remembering the actual name for the uh, formula they use because I don't remember um, I looked it up the other day, but um, it, it's effectively you end up with the oh oh they use Markov chains I believe it was they use a series of numbers it's like a formula and it keeps generating more and more numbers and it's effectively just a randomization program but they know exactly what the random number is going to be ahead of time so what they can do is they can take this set of data and they're like hey uh, think of this as code because it looks like this. Um, I know that doesn't make a ton of sense, but, all, but okay, so uh, eff effectively a computer will treat all data, like all data is just a series of ones and zeros to a computer. You can treat it however you want to treat it. Sweet, a new weapon. And so, if you have a series of numbers that are just being generated randomly, and you tell the computer, hey, this is image data, or this is texture data, which I guess is also just image data, then the computer's not going to know the difference. It's just going to be like, oh, cool, more, more data for me to, eee, oh, dude, there's a dude there, okay. This is going to die. I can just walk through that. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I know it's not a horror game, but whatever. Anyway, and so this game just keeps generating code. It's it's like the procedurally generated games. Like, you know that, um... Oh, what was that one game that flopped? I need to switch weapons. I'm wasting ammo. Uh, what was that one game that was procedurally generated? Um... I don't remember, because I never bought it. But I know everyone was upset with it, because it wasn't very big. And everyone thought it would be, like, super expensive. But no, it wasn't. Like, it was an expensive game, but there was nothing to do. Um, I'm sure you guys can correct me in the comments on what exactly that was, but it's procedurally generated, which means that the game is huge because they don't have to manually code anything. I mean, like, they have to manually code. I'm not saying they don't manu manually code anything, but of course, like, I I'm stuck. Um, I've actually never been in this scenario before. Can I, uh, blow myself out of here? I guess I can't. I'm stuck, so I'm gonna go ahead and get myself out of this and then come back to this episode. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, um, of course, this is this is a 96 kilobyte game. So I guess you wouldn't really expect it to be without its glitches. I mean, like, come on, it's free. It was made like decades ago. So I don't really blame it all that much. I mean, come on, it's 96 kilobytes. That's like nothing. So it's procedurally generated, and I guess the best way I can explain that is, what if if you just had like a computer program, just continuously random, or sorry, not randomizing, continuously generating the the digits of pi and it bases the data that it generates on those digits of pi. Then you would have something that's always the same, but it's effectively ran random. So, I'm stuck again. Wow. Okay guys, I'm back. So I guess the best way you could explain this game is that, um, imagine you had a computer 
Oh, well, I mean, of course, you have to have a computer to play it. So imagine you had a program, and all it's doing is continuously generating digits of pi. And it's using those digits to generate data for itself. So say you had a slightly randomized texture, but like the data, the digits of pi fill in some of the values that, I don't know, could be... Const like, it could be a constructed based on the... I, okay, I don't know how... I'm having a difficult situation here. Um, the digits of pi are used as the data to construct the image. There you go. So that's like what this game is in the Markov chain sense. It's generating quasi-random numbers, but once you generate them once, they'll always be the same set. So you never have to worry about one player getting a different set of textures than the other, because they'll always be the same. But you can contain it in really, really tiny spaces, because all you have to store is the formula. You don't actually have to store the data itself, which is really cool. So it's like saying, um, instead of having to store the entirety of pi, all you have to store is um, the formula for it. Say, I know I know it's not actually this, but say 22 over 7. That's way smaller for, for, for a computer to store than 3.14159265358979323388. And yes, those were actually correct digits. Anyway, so yeah, oh man, here's a boss, here's a boss. Let's go get wrecked. So yeah, it's much faster, well not fast, it's actually much slower to generate, but um, it's much easier for a computer to, to store a formula with small amounts of data than it is the data itself. So that's what this game takes advantage of, and it generates all of these beautiful high resolution textures based on the chains that it's, uh, that it's fed, which is super cool, and they actually won a competition for like this like 96 kilobyte max coding competition. And this game was intended actually to be a trilogy of three games. <clears throat> Sorry, of three games. But unfortunately, uh, that didn't pan out very well for them. Because uh, their site is down now. Um, right now, their website is being used as an Italian cooking website. Or an Italian restaurant. And uh, as I'm sure you can tell, this game is not, you know, an Italian restaurant. Or at least I don't think it is. Because if it is, uh, uh, I'm missing out on a lot. And I would like my pepperonis because I feel that my time has not been treated as valuable. So let's just kill these guys. Um, I should just be using this. Get wrecked. And this guy needs a couple of these. And uh, I'm actually playing with a mouse right now, which is weird because if I'm playing something on my laptop, normally I play with my trackpad, but trackpads don't really work well with rapid clicking, so I'm using my mouse. Of course, with this, I just gotta hold the button. But I don't know, it's always had a problem with shooters. Even though this isn't a first-person shooter, it's a contest for uh, small coding, and... Oh, did I just die? Huh. It's just a, it's a, it's a demonstration of the power involved. And, uh, and you, you know what? I can play whatever I want on my channel. It's my channel. Let's go. So uh, I'm having a really fun time playing this. This game is beautiful. Look at these textures. They didn't have to store these as data. It's amazing. And they can do the same with the enemy AI and everything. And uh, yeah, so they won the contest, needless to say. I will put the download link for this game in the description down below so you guys can play it for yourself. Pretty much any modern computer can play this game. It's funny because if you read the description, it says um, the game requires a somewhat high-end computer to run, and it's like, you need like a Pentium processor, because this game was made in like 2002 or something. It's old. But it's really, really fun, and it doesn't take up a lot of space, and you can download it in like two seconds, even with the worst internet connection. So there's no need to worry with that. You guys will all be able to run it, no matter what your system is. So, oh man, I'm running out of life. Let's go back this way and try to get some of those lives back. I can't go that way. Oh well, full speed ahead then. So yeah, this is a super impressive game. I like it. I'm having fun. Fun is important. Let's get our new weapon. I could really use some health right now. I could really use some health right now. Come on, game. Come on. Come on. Give me some health. Give me some health. So this is like the last weapon. Uh, it shoots... It's pretty much a grenade gun, which is fine. RPG, you know, for role-playing grenade. That's what it stands for. It's just more powerful, which is cool, I guess. There's a dude. I, I've beaten him on my last playthrough. You're not... Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did I just get a hit? Come on, man. Come on. It's all about that, uh... I, I guess that's, um... An, a, an, a, an area of effect attack. Wow. Speaking skills are on point today, I guess. Come on, die. Okay, okay, we're good. Do these shots hurt me too? Or was it just the fact that I was close to this guy that was hurting me? I have no idea. But it's fine, because we'll just keep going up these stairs, just mowing down any enemies in our way, and we're gonna have a good time. 
It's a good day today. So yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think about this game in the comments down below. I think it's very, very impressive, personally. Um, unfortunately, they never really got... They said that this wasn't the um, necessarily the full version of the game. They said they wanted to continue to expand it. But they couldn't really do that. Which is unfortunate, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and get some more health. They said they wanted this game to be a lot bigger because they, they wanted it to, this to be the uh, the direct, or sorry, the cut version, the one that was made a little bit shorter for the competition, just so they could get the size down. But they wanted a bigger version with, uh, that was all they, you know, that was everything they'd hoped for. And they wanted to make three games. But unfortunately, the team got busy and they never did that. But I'm going to show you something cool. Uh, you don't, um, you don't fall when you're paused, but the game still moves. So I can pause and the ground keeps going down. But we're still floating in the air, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I can, you know, stop stop my descent whenever I want, look around in the air a little bit. And so that's pretty cool, but the game is about to end, so thanks for watching, guys. And uh, let me know what you think. Um, unfortunately, if you visit theproduct.com, it will be that Italian, um, Italian restaurant website. I'm sorry, it says uncut final version soon, which is what I was referencing. Unfortunately, that's never going to come. It seems, but I really recommend you guys give this game a shot. Um, I'll put the download link in the description. I really enjoyed it. This game is super impressive for what it is. I mean, they didn't have to like, I just can't express as like a computer enthusiast, computer programmer, computer, whatever you want to call it. I'm a lot of things that have to do with computer. I'm a technologist. I love this kind of stuff. It's really cool. So with that, Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out. Leave a comment in the comment section down below and subscribe to my channel to enjoy my content. And let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. One quick thing that I forgot to mention. Now, this is going to blow your mind. This video is over 100 times larger than this game. Now, the raw footage of this thing, including audio, is over a thousand times larger. So this video that you're watching, having streamed to you over the internet right now, is bigger than this game that I am playing that is sitting on my desktop. This is really cool stuff. I highly recommend you play this game. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think.